to tell us a bit more, our senior reporter, Catherine Norris-Trent, joins me live now from uh, those protests. Catherine, just tell us a bit more then about what the concerns of these bakers are and why they're out in the streets today. <laughs> Hi there, Nadia. Yeah, it's hard to imagine a more quintessentially French story than this. The world-famous French baguette, which was recently awarded world heritage status, combined with the French uh, national pastime almost of going out to strike. And as you can see, hundreds of French bakers, boulangers, have descended on Paris today from all across the country to protest about what they say are unsustainable conditions for them because the prices not only of electricity have gone up, you know, a lot of their ovens are providing them with huge bills, but also of raw materials, flour, butter and sugar, meaning that lots of them say that their business of providing the French daily bread is becoming basically unsustainable. They say their costs have doubled, sometimes tripled. They've laid off multiple members of staff. So they are marching from here in the east of the French capital to outside the French finance ministry to demand more help. The French government has put in place a tariff shield for individual French consumers to cap electricity prices, but the bakers say that doesn't apply to them and they are worried about just what the future holds and whether they'll have to stop producing these baguettes at all together. There are some 30,000 boulangeries in France which are really are part of the social fabric here and so this, you know, leaving all the cliches aside really shows the difficulties that many uh, small businesses are facing on a daily basis here in France. Now the French government does want to try and help Catherine, just give us a sense of what it is they're proposing. Yeah, the French government says it's already taken some measures. So they've said that French businesses can opt out of contracts which would bind them into very high tariffs. But the bakers say, you know, there aren't any other options on the table for many of them. They've also said that they can uh, delay paying taxes and charge until a later date when it's more financially viable. But again, the bakers say that's not quite enough because it's just leading them to pay back these huge sums later and to accumulate debts. What they want is some kind of tariff shield which would mean they're locked into contracts which would give them a maximum electricity prices and also to address the problem of uh, raw material prices and so far they say they haven't got answers on that and that they're hoping for more meetings with the French government they have had in the past but according to the bakers that so far hasn't risen to their expectations. Catherine Norris-Tran in Place de la Nation, Eastern Paris, thanks very much.